Hey guys, welcome back. So I was tagged by Daphne C, and I'll link her down below, in the I fell for the packaging tag, and I thought, okay, that's a pretty fun tag. I'm going to do this video. Well, I started thinking, I don't think I've ever actually bought anything just for the packaging, and maybe I am rare, but I tend to really kind of research my purchases, and I'm a pretty thoughtful purchaser. So I started looking through my products and realized that while I haven't bought anything specifically because of the packaging, it has certainly enhanced the experience after I bought it, or it has helped me decide to maybe repurchase something. And there's maybe a couple of things in here that I have bought because of the packaging for a specific reason. So, so I have products here that kind of run the gamut. I'm just gonna start with what came to mind first, and that is the Marc Jacobs La Creme, lip, is it La Creme? Lip Cream, Lip Cream, Lipstick. And I have it in one color, I have Sonic Truth, but I just love this packaging and I don't even think I realized that it did this until after I got it, but it's just this sleek square packaging that magnetizes itself back on. And I just think that's so cool. And so I thought, after I got it that I needed to get more, which I still haven't, but I need to because I just love how sleek and black and silver, I love that about all of his packaging, but I just, I love that. It's just the silliest thing, but there's something that makes me happy about it. So I love that and you know, it's just piggybacking on that, the air blush, which I feel like everybody has this same flesh and fantasy color, but I just love this packaging. I just love the sleek kind of spaceshipy looking packaging. I just think it's so sleek and pretty and it definitely would entice me to buy more blushes from him. Um, where should I go now? So I just recently bought this and I really think that I did buy it largely because of how dang cute it was and because of the convenience and portability. I mean, I did hear some good things about it, but it's this amazing concealer hydrate and it's in this metallic hot pink stick. And um, I don't know, you just roll it up, but I'm in the process of trying it out because I've been varying my under eye concealers because I've been having some texture and dryness issues. I'm gonna hold my thoughts on it, but I really think I largely bought it because it was a stick and it was in this hot pink color. I mean, how cute is that? It's just so cute and little. So that's another one that I think of. And on that same note, let's talk about stick and portability. This Clinique Take the Day Off Eye Makeup Remover Stick, I bought this, I think at the same time I bought the Amazing Hydrate con uh, Concealer. And I thought, okay, it's part of the Take the Day Off line. I'm always looking for something to remove my eye makeup when I travel. So I got this and this works. I love it. I have used it several times now and I plan to take it with me on a trip. And how cute is this packaging? It's so little. So let's get that lipstick out, the Marc Jacobs, which is just a regular lipstick size. And how cute and portable is that? Um, so you just take this and rub it on your finger and then rub it on your eyelashes, just kind of how you would take off your eye makeup anyway. And it takes everything off, waterproof too. Love it, love it, love it. So, I mean, I bought it because of what it was, but it is what it is because of the packaging. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna mention are wipes, which might seem kind of odd, and it's not necessarily these specific wipes, but it's the packaging of these wipes. So I prefer to buy wipes that have this plastic dispenser type lid that opens like so, and you don't have to keep this on here, I just do to prevent dry out. I just feel like wipes are less likely to dry out if they have this plastic lid that opens than if they have that sticky type of opening because I feel like mine always lose their stick. So I don't know, this is just a type of packaging I'm drawn to by versus another type. Urban Decay Naked Skin One and Done, and I have done, have I done a foundation road test on this? I think I have. Um, this is a really good foundation, by the way, and you can see I've used quite a bit of it, but um, I really like this packaging because it's super lightweight and it's got a pump, and it's the same as the 
it CC cream, but I don't have the full size of that. I only have the travel. And um, I'm just kind of a sucker for anything that has a packaging that is really lightweight and portable, a squeezy tube basically, and a pump. And I think that that is one thing that really drew me to trying this particular foundation. So um, yeah, I just, I really, really like this particular packaging and type of packaging. And um, I just think, oh, there's something all over my nails. I can't lie, a big reason why I tried the Guerlain Meteorites Primer is because it is just so pretty. You know, the white and silver, the little Guerlain symbol here, the little pink Meteorites balls, it's just pretty. I mean, I did read good things about it. I wouldn't have purchased it if it had bad reviews, but it really is pretty to look at. So it did have something to do with it. I remember the first time I saw these, the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipstick. I just remember the first time I saw the packaging on these. They were shaped kind of like a squeezy tube, but not quite because they were hard. And I thought I really, really need to get one of these and try it. And um, you know, it's not my favorite formula, so I've tried it, but um, I, I still do really like the packaging on it. I just think it's really super cool. You know, you can kind of see it's got that little clear area in the bottom. I, I don't know, I just, there's something about it that always appealed to me. We all know by now I have a soft spot for Tarte in general, but some of that probably has to do with the way they package their items. And now it does have to do with product quality, of course, because I think that they just have great stuff overall for the most part. But you know, this is one of my favorite palettes along with a lot of other people for good reason because the quality is really good. But this is just so pretty. I mean, who would not want to use this palette? It's just got this really pretty purple and pink watercolor with the gold. It's just really, really pretty to look at. So, I mean, I would be lying if I didn't say that part of the reason why I even entertained getting this was because it was just pretty. Now the next two Tarte items, I didn't buy for the packaging, but I really love the way the packaging looks. I love this Rainforest of the Sea bottle. I think it just looks so pretty sitting out. It's just it's really pretty. And then the Maracuja facial oil. I love this facial oil. I just think it's done great things for my skin. It's got that royal purple that Tarte's known for and the gold, and they just go together so well. It's just really pretty packaging, I think. They could have gone any direction and they did this, and I think it's really nice. Perfumes and packaging, I mean, I don't know. I think a lot of my perfumes I probably have for the packaging, but these two stood out to me specifically because I think I even mentioned in my fragrance video that I just love the packaging on the Elizabeth and James Nirvana White. I love how it's not just a plain rectangle. I love that it's it's got some curvature to it and it's got the gold on the sides and then the texture. It's just a really cool packaging. Now would I have gotten it anyway? Yes, but they just did a really good job with their packaging and I really, really like looking at this. This is always in the front on my perfume shelf. And the other, I could have pulled both of my Cartier perfumes. I just grabbed this one because they're both packaged the same. The perfumes are just different colors. I don't even know if I pronounce these right, but it's the Cartier Bezier Vole. It's just this kind of cigarette lighter looking packaging. And I just think it's kind of cool that it does that. And it's very heavy this bottle, like it, it's sturdy. It's got some heft to it, this metal. It's not chintzy at all. So there's something about this packaging that I really, really like. Um, now again, would I have bought it anyway? Probably because the scent is just so good or the scents, cause I have two of them, two different ones, but I just really like it. So while I didn't buy anything just for the packaging, it didn't quote fall for the packaging. It certainly does enhance the experience and it may make me drawn to more products from the line and rebuy for sure. So those are my picks and I'm gonna tag Jennifer Jenkins and Mandy Davis and I will link them below and let me know what things you guys fell for in terms of packaging or just what packaging you like in general. And thank you guys so much for watching. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. And if you are not following me on my social media, I'll put that on the screen and link it down below too. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.